resistant light survivor. Enough to keep the incidental damage down pretty low. Leg guards, leg guards. We're at 22 encumbrance on our legs. That's, I'm a little unsure on that one. And you can't do much with the feet. Can't really layer anything on there. So yeah, we're finally pretty much in my normal runaround gear for Light Survivor. What's that put us at? Any dodge? 2.1 dodge while we're fully geared up. If I take off the F FL, what does that put me at? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I removed the FN from my inventory from wearing it. Oh no, apparently I didn't. I, I think I did. I just did the reverse. <laughs> All right, there we go. So 2.1 without the gun over our shoulder. How do we do with the hiking backpack off? That jumps us to 3.7. Not bad for only a three dodge. Um, I'm really, 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 really hoping I can put my little dodge training trick into play this run, but um, I haven't yet come across a bear trap. I don't think I can make them, can I? Yeah, I can't make them yet. I'm not sure. I don't remember what it takes to make bear traps. If it's book specific or uh, if I need survival skill, probably. I had to guess I'm low on survival skill in order to craft the uh, the bear trap. Survival one. I shall have my eleven dodge. I shall has it. All right, tired again. What else did we accomplish? We got the gear finished up. We've got... What else was I waiting on? That's done, that's done, that's done. All right, all my notes are done from the last run. I want to look at the uh, bottle jack. Torch, Swage and Die. I don't have the Swage and Die set yet. Hmm. Where is my... Where is my torch? Am I out of gas for the torch? Because I know I have a torch. 166 out of 240. How much does it take? Takes a lot. Takes 200. Can I reload it partially? I hope I can reload it partially. I don't think I can. Well, that kind of stinks. <laughs> Huh. Yeah, that 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 stinks. <laughs> huh. I can't move the gas from this one to this one to fill it so I have enough in one place to be able to do the uh do the crafting. I have to have two hundred in a single location. So these small tanks won't do it. Hmm. I don't remember running into that problem before. I probably had plenty of tanks and didn't really care. All right. Well, uh, yeah, that's that's not cool. No, it's it's a red recipe. It's not going to even let me start until I meet all the requirements. You have to be able to meet the requirements to even get the thing started. I I, I can't can't even pick it until I meet all the requirements. This is not the only thing blocking me. This is also going to block me. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right, that's um, that's fine. We can work around it, I guess. All that shooting I did, did I get to two marksmen? I didn't even get close. <laughs> uh, that's a shame. Um, we'll do the swage and die, and we'll see if uh, if it lets me start the the craft. I I it shouldn't for the normal per the normal rules of how things work. It shouldn't let me even start that craft. Without having a full 200 charges in one spot. Oh, now I'm short on the metal? That's funny. Well, that I can replace at least. Chunks, lumps, and scrap. Come here, baseball bat. Got a job for you. Huh. Now it does allow it. Alright. That's weird that it lights up even with a partial, but I guess that'll work. Make sure it won't let me disassemble this thing real quick. So if I remove the pallet lifter, I get back the pallet lifter, but I'm not going to get the bottle jack that was used to make the actual pallet lifter. So now I have the pallet lifter, but I can't disassemble the pallet lifter. Yeah, that's what I figured. Pallet lifter is permanent. All right. Um. Bring all this. Oh, it's actually a vehicle. Yeah, it's fine. Leave that alone. I'm still not 100% that I'm going to be able to do what I'm trying to do here without a bottle jack and the crane. Lots of pipes, and I'm missing a steel chain. I never grabbed a steel chain. Um, so many things I'm forgetting. Six out of thirty two. <laughs> Tempted to just go find. Where did I see that? <laughs> yeah, bottle jacks aren't hard to come across. I've just already searched most of the local vehicles. <clears throat> and my game world is fairly dangerous because I've got a lot of. I've got all. I've got all the upgraded zombies. So it's not quite as easy for me just to roll around checking for bottle jacks. 
All depends on whether I want to spend real world time or in game time doing it. A lot of the decisions I make are based on saving real world time, not being efficient in game. Um, I don't want to do this. That's <clears throat> trying to remember where I spotted heavy machinery. It wasn't couldn't have been a house. It was a basement. It was a basement. I remember I remember seeing it. That basement? Might have been that basement. Yeah, with the evolution settings I picked, we had uh, we had evolved zombies the very first minute of the game. By now, we're we're way deep, <laughs> so it's chock full of uh, Hulks and shocker brutes and predators and uh, all the good stuff. What time is it? Eleven p.m. Um, all right, let's turn this off. We'll sleep another night, and then in the morning when we wake up, I might run up and try to check this one spot. Might get a little lucky. <laughs> Bandage you. We'll let the light heels work on the rest, and... Alright, at least we got bars on all the places that's supposed to have bars. That's good. Um, Alright, peek outside first, see if we need to go run stuff over. No, oh, it's looking pretty clear. Alright. Home base is fine. Roll up the road here. I I think I think that one basement had heavy Whoa, sleep ring biters. Well, yeah, there's a pack. <laughs> there's a pack I don't want to deal with. Flavoring biters are by far the only dangerous one in that group. Yeah, there's an acid zombie and a survivor. There could be stuff inside here too. Um, they can't see me yet. We'll uh, we'll roll over this way. Well, and I saw an incandescent husk. <laughs> where's where's the husk? Out the west. Um. Now it's getting a little tighter. Now I got groups on two sides. If I try to split the difference and go up the middle through the forest here. Do this. Let's put the spear away. Stimulate our synapses. Get the spear back out. We'll, we'll go ahead and take the, uh, the back way. See if we can get up to that one house cleanly. See if I'm remembering... Properly, or my brain's going mushy. I'm gonna bet on mushy brain. Ah, this is the gunsmith. Yeah, this isn't the basement I was thinking of. 
Which one was the that new basement that had the shock zombie in it? I didn't mark them. All the ones that had basements was it one of these two? I thought that one with a shocker had some heavy machinery in it that I can take apart and get some of the things I need. Ah, definitely wasn't this one. <laughs> How about we just grab the bottle, Jack? That solves one of the problems. Um... Dazed by the Shrieker, probably, which is not helpful. Five the non dazing. crowd from the north, putting two techs and a thorny shambler. Uh, I'd love to kill the firefighters, turn out gear, kill the techs, maybe get their stuff, but the techs are going to steal my spear, other tech will probably steal my <clears throat> a knife. I got backups for my backups, but... <laughs> hmm. can string them out a bit. Let's do that. Maybe I can piece them apart. Oh, did the techs get left? I think they got left. Yay, they got left. Cool. Alright, it's going to take a lot of stamina to chop down these guys, though. Um, yeah, I'm kind of curious how our spear does against the, against the firefighters. Hail for 50. 36. 13. 39. Alright. We're now here. One pair of boots. Really? That's it? I <laughs> hear I wanted to get pants or uh, jackets so I could get some Kevlar, and uh, nope, <laughs> denied. That's uh, that's kind of rude, huh? Where's the biter? Biter's the thing I really care about. He's still just hanging out down there. All right, Shambler's coming next. We're gonna get poisoned by him. Let's switch to the other side of the car. Wait him out. Alright, well, we got the poison. Alright, let's go get him. Is 
The masks seem to be... I don't know if it's damage to the masks that makes them slightly unreliable. I haven't had too much of a problem with the survivor masks and... I was using a uh, filter mask earlier in this run with... I was only getting minimally smoke inhalation and so on. And it was a full strength mask, so... They do seem to be penetrating somewhat, but uh, not nearly as badly as if you don't have one. He failed to pull... Oh, second guy got it. <laughs> second guy got my spear. Combat knife. Stabby, stabby. Stabby, stabby. Give me my spear back. Alright. Goodbye, you two. Oh, now shock zombies in the area. Hanging out in the back of the uh, cargo truck. Alright, it's back to the spear. All the masks that have charges have to be activated. It has to be yellow and say active. And the charges only deplete while they're actively being used, meaning you're actively in smoke, poison, and so on. So they do not decrement their counter just by running around normally like I am currently. This only goes down once you're actually in smoke. So there's no reason not to just put it on and immediately turn it on. Or just activate it, whichever. <clears throat> Uh, Sleeping Biter's actually pretty wounded, huh? I'm tempted, I'm tempted, but not at half stamina. I'm, I, I'm just in my brain. I'm, I'm insisting. My brain keeps telling me I'm going to need both a bottle jack and a crane. So if I use my bottle jack to make a crane, I'm going to be short the bottle jack. So ideally, I'd like to get two bottle jacks just to make sure I'm covered. Three or four guys, let's... Keep the ganging up to a minimum here. We'll hide in the car while we get our breath back. Mr. Husk, yeah, I see you've killed all your buddies over there. Good job. Your car. Mm -hmm. 
Interesting. Interesting double fence line we got here. I don't remember seeing a double fence line like this before. Must be due to the uh, way these two kind of merge together. <laughs> Alright, what do we got out here? Brutes. Come and get me, Brute. Hopefully he doesn't immediately get through the fence line, because I can... I can stab him through the chain link till he knocks it down. Or not. Used to be able to. Alright, guess not. Um... Hmm. Oh, fence is down. Here he comes. Let's see. Still got my movement boost. Do I have time to take this fence down? Can I, can I, can I double climb? Oh, I can double climb. Well, that'll work even better. All right, dissolute horror. I just want to go take a look at this real quick. Jacking 11. <clears throat> the hub assembly is the same. I'm gonna to need to get rid of both the hub assembly and the, the wheels destroyed, but still there. So I still need to be able to have the tool requirement to get rid of it. So I'm gonna need Jacking 11 plus the uh, the crane for the other stuff I want to do. So I don't believe the crane does it top out at. Maybe it. Maybe the crane is 11. Anybody remember what the engine crane, the steel boom cantilever tops out at? It's not 16. I know it's not as high as a bottle jack, but I can't remember the number. <coughs> All right. Now I need to get out of here. Can't safely go back straight south. Got the incandescent hanging out over here, but he's easy to avoid. So I think it's just... I think it's just go this way. Hey there, brute. get the uh, engine crane finished up so I know exactly what it is and what I need. Worst case scenario, I have to go driving around looking for... <laughs> Damn incandescent wandered back over here. Alright, follow me up this way, incandescent. Whoa, hello. That, that, oh, there were two different groups that had a slave ring? I thought... All right, my bad. My bad. Let's see. Let's, um, let's lead you guys around to another building as well. Back away from my home location. Oops. Hey there, Mr. Brute. <laughs> Just about got super punched. Persistent zombie following me. <laughs> Very persistent zombie. 
Get down. Make that. I don't believe I have anything I can incorporate a steel chain or that incorporates a steel chain I can rip out. Steel Boom is the telescoping one. Is that the one you're talking about? Telescopic cantilever? This isn't... <coughs> I'm, I'm remembering the, uh, the boom being the one necessary for the, uh, the crane. Been too long. I don't want to keep dorking around with intermediate ones. <laughs> that's that's what got me in trouble with the pallet lifter. I even mentioned at the time it was probably going to get me in trouble. I'm not worried about time passing. I think I'm just going to go ahead and get it done. I'm, I don't want to dork around with too much more real-world time to finish this up. Get it done. <clears throat> Keep throwing gauze and bandages on. Only getting what I need for this one particular circumstance doesn't solve my longer term problems of wanting the best tool that will cover all situations. I'd rather just get it done now. Always depends on the circumstances and what you have available and if time's an issue and so on. Right now I'm no longer racing any kind of clock. I already have pretty much the max evolved zombies rolling around the world so it doesn't really matter to me if the uh, clock keeps cycling. All right, uh, let's get our light back on. And get our boom done, finally. Okay. <coughs> 
Hmm. Hmm. Maybe a shocker brute when I peek around the corner. <laughs> Oops. Lantern off. Light amp on. And light amp on. Thanks for the days. Boom's done. Whoops, daytime. <laughs> Acid zombie. Um <laughs> All right, so we got a boom crane. It's in a weird spot. <laughs> uh, it's fine. It's fine. 88 volume. Youch. 75 volume, 211 pounds, huh? Alright, boom crane solves all the problems. <clears throat> it's rated for stupid amounts of everything, so. As long as I have that, and all it takes is a, a wrench to bolt it on to a frame, so it's easy to take on and pull off again. 
You don't need welding or anything to uh, to do that. It just takes a little bit of time. So as long as time's not super critical, you can uh, make sure you've got the ability to lift up and move pretty much anything you want. So I think we're good there. We got that solved. We'll take the uh, the bottle jack and the engine crane and so on with us. Um, let's make sure we're covered. Don't care. Actually, go ahead and take that apart. That frame too. Alright, so that should definitely cover all of those possibilities. Then the welding rig. I put the storage battery and the welding rig on the <coughs> Thing, and I can make sure I can do all the mods I need to when we get over to the other vehicle. So let's get that out of there. Put a frame back on that. to put back on. That will take the lifting quality which I've got sitting right next to me. So that takes that down. One fifty five out of one sixty two. Um might be nice to get a cargo space in here. I'm gonna have to go get one. Which is problematic. All right, so we'll have welding, power, and tools. We'll have lifting and jacking covered. I should be able to get to the Humvee. To take the wheels off, then take jack or take the treads off of this, then put the treads on the Humvee. Um, and we'll have to rip off the uh, rams, stick those on. Yeah, I think we should be okay. cordless drill. Doot, doot, doot. Don't forget the stupid cordless drill that's not included with any of the other tool sets. <laughs> <clears throat>
Yeah, let's run up there now. <clears throat> Why not? Go find out just how wrong I am. In there, Swimmer Zombie. Been missing a spike for quite a while. <laughs> it started missing. Yeah, it started with a broken spike. Then I managed to get it ripped off when I rammed something. <clears throat> we know where there's multiple other... Uh, bandit bulldozers. So we can go get a replacement without too much difficulty. I actually found three bandit bulldozers on day one. Never had that happen before. Never once have I ever seen that many bandit bulldozers right out of the gate. Uh, go ahead and just rip that mirror off. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, it's you can't just make those things. We'll come back to these two in a bit. Might pull some useful stuff out of those. All right, north, right? North, north, north. Yep. If I can just get the uh, treads on the Humvee, the ram on the Humvee, and then go get a couple of cargo spaces from the truck we know is north of it. That's all I really need. Oh, actually, the LA, yeah, I don't have diesel either. Crap. Should have brought more diesel. Whoops. Oh no, this is the right way. Alright. Yeah, I don't think I have a lot of diesel handy. <clears throat> I don't remember how much diesel was in that first Humvee we're coming up on. So, diesel. And on the right there. Goodbye, Mr. Breck. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna be more likely to need this up front, so let's Put it right here for now. Alright. Let's take a look at this thing. Four liters. That's not much. So, initial problem is this. I gotta get rid of that, and I gotta get rid of the hub assembly. So, mechanics 4, lifting 1 or strength 1, and yeah, jacking 12. <laughs> 11 wouldn't have done it. <laughs> um, Alright, I'm going to have to move this thing around the various sides in order to get this done. Maybe I can do it from here and do both of these. Alright, that should give me what I need to get the track installed. Steel treads. 54 minutes. Alright, let's hold off on that for now. Alright.
all right so we got all the assemblies out now let's get them out of the way and let's see front is some facing backwards so it's this bad that one let's grab that tread oh. lifting one um that's where I'm gonna run into the problem is separate vehicle <clears throat> I want that one the other ones are damaged yeah all right hopefully it still drives <laughs> Five forty-five. We got the treads on at least. Hundred percent off-road. Fifty-four tops or safe speed is perfectly fine for me. Um, let's see. We gotta do some engine repairs. We got a lot of other stuff to do. Probably gonna run out of daylight before I get it done. Uh, I don't care about any of that for now. All right, so next up would be the storage battery and the welding rig. All right, so get rid of that. got power we've got the welding rig and the uh, kitchen batter or the kitchen unit in uh, I think just diesel is gonna be our our big problem right now I didn't remember to source enough diesel I don't remember how many that uh, might have been left in the mobile gun system might have enough um, The other Humvee had a bunch. <clears throat> it's not too far off. Plus, I wanted to get the cargo spaces anyway. So what we might do is 
drive up to that Humvee, siphon the diesel out, then come back down and get our cargo spaces. Might have to spend the night at a uh, local uh, <coughs> farmhouse. I didn't bring any food or water with me either. Okay. Let's see here. What else we got back here? Grab the bottle jack. Grab the frame. Don't care about any of that. Need to take that apart and attach it somewhere on the vehicle. I still need to grab these spikes as well. How long does it take to take the spikes off? 15 minutes each, four of them, so an hour for that. No problem. Alright, the spikes are off. I think I'm gonna throw those in the back for now. Put those on back at the main base because I need to I need to rip all these off too. It's gonna take too long. Um, anything else that I want? Don't want the flamethrower, they're useless. Don't need the trunk. Three different tanks, but I can get easy access to tanks now. But I do want the tank of gas, actually. So we're going to yank the tank of gas out. I need the gas for my lantern. Other than that, I everything else on here is pretty basic. Maybe I'll take one tread spare. In case we manage to blow one. Yeah, let's do that. So on the far side. Youch! Well, that took a long time. <laughs> I guess we might be sleeping here in the vehicle. Just be hungry and thirsty. Yeah, I think I'll just sleep here. Doubt there's going to be too much danger. Take care of our fruit and thirst in the morning. Yeah, we're not tired yet. I guess I could... Yeah, let's go with the lantern. Let's get that on. Let's uh, yank that that uh, tank out. All right, I think that's it. I think we're gonna leave it here now. Not dangerous. Might have zombies wandered onto it or a vehicle I have to dodge, but not otherwise dangerous. 